So, you want to be an astronaut? Well, you will need to be in tip top shape, have solid eyesight. Well, there's much more than that. To become an astronaut, it depends on uh, what role you act. Uh, generally speaking, there are three uh, categories of astronauts. Uh, the pilots, including the commander, also the flight engineers and the payload experts. To be a uh, pilot, uh, usually we select these astronauts from the uh, pilot of the, uh, from the Air Force or from the Navy. Usually we select them from the uh, fighter pilots because you know that uh, the fighter pilots are qualified, well qualified in their physical conditions and also uh, their reaction in emergency cases usually is better, much better than common people. For the uh, flight engineers, usually he or she should be must very uh, familiar with the spacecraft. And for the payload experts, it's quite different. Uh, it is not necessary, although uh, maybe they will also be trained for piloting the ships, but not, uh, not very necessary. Uh, so uh, the most uh, major task for them is to uh, perform or conducting the scientific, scientific research. In previous manned space missions, most of the astronauts were pilots, but this time around, drafting guidelines have identified the need for two payload experts. So what are payload experts and what's their role throughout the space mission? Indeed, uh, uh, during the past missions, we do not have payload experts. Uh, we can have these kind of uh, uh, e examples in other countries. You see that uh, during the last mission of the Apollo uh, spaceship uh, going to the moon, a scientist named the Harrison Schmidt uh, was selected as the uh, lunar module pilot, but he conducted scientific research on the moon. So this is a very, very uh, good example. And for the first time, the payload expert vacancies are being opened to applicants from the special administrative regions of Hong Kong and Macau. Hong Kong officials say the city has tens of thousands of potential recruits and is encouraging anyone eligible to apply. In fact, many of the talents in Hong Kong have already contributed their insights to China's space exploration programs. They have submitted findings from research on high-tech contact lenses used to monitor the health of astronauts in orbits. And as a tradition, every crew that served on previous Shenzhou series missions have visited Hong Kong after returning to Earth. It's been quite a conversation topic. Um, it's getting very excited. Um, I think it's um, very important to have this opportunity because I think to, to make a parallel, this is sort of a dream that they never had before. Currently, the astronaut sends off China's 23rd batch of astronauts, a total of 18 recruits, before they're certified for space missions. China has 21 astronauts in total from the first two batches of recruits, and 14 of them have taken part in nine missions, including the latest Shenzhou 14 mission. Among those is Yang Liwei, the first Chinese person to go to space. Jai Zhigang was China's first space mission commander, as well as the first Chinese person to conduct a spacewalk. Then there's Liu Yang, the first female astronaut from China. Last but not least, there's Wang Yaping, the first Chinese astronaut to conduct a lesson in orbit for pupils back on Earth. They are very uh, diligent and also uh, they are very modest. Uh, even they are very talented in their pro uh, professionals. You see that they are working very, very hard and uh, after their selection, they must conduct very, very intensive trainings and uh, learning a lot of things such as mathematics, uh, physics and uh, orbital science, orbital dynamics and so on. Uh, so you can see uh, Miss Wang uh, Yaping uh, mentioned that during the first two years of her training in the uh, astronaut center, she even, uh, she, she never go out to shopping. <laughs> you see that it's very tough for them. And also uh, what impressed me most is the, you know, that's the, the hyper, uh, hyper G forces or the uh, hypergravity. You know that for this training is really uncomfortable. Usually some common people even cannot afford maybe 3 to 4 G, uh, uh, these kind of sort of. But for the astronauts, they must suffer at least 8 G. And moreover, even at 8G, these, these kind of forces, they must uh, have the capability to have the right response to any signal. Authorities say the recruitment of new astronauts is back to complete in a year and a half. Luckily for them, they're getting plenty of encouragement and support from other astronauts. Oh, 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 oh,
空间站，等你来出差。中国空间站，等你来出差。Chinese astronauts have conducted three classes in orbit from the Tiangong Space Station, classes which are viewed by millions of primary and secondary schools across China. At the moments like this, that have potential in galvanized young people around the world to pursue their dreams in space and beyond.